Hi, I'm Sharon and today we're going to talk about rugging a horse. So we're going to rug my horse today, but before I do, I'm going to show you where I store my rugs. So this is great. This is actually a dog fence, but I use it to hang wet rugs or a rug that you're using. You might want to just throw it on here. So that's where I put that. Now to store them, especially when you're going from season to season, I've got them all labelled. So that's Ledger's mesh rugs, all for summer. Um, that's all his cotton, so he's got cotton rugs as well, a little bit thicker for insects and shows and things like that. So um, I've also got, um, don't just rug the body, but you can rug um, literally their tails. It's a tail bag, and I've got a bag of those that will clean. So, a good idea to, if you've got something, a rug that needs repair, keep it out, get it repaired immediately, wash them, put them away, and then you've always got a rug when you need it, um, and label them. So I keep it in here so rats and that can't get in here. Um, it's served really well. I've got all the winter rugs actually in here. So today we're going to rug him in a mesh because it's summer. So that's the rug I would use for summer. So I'll show you how to put that on. And that's particular to his size. So he's a five foot nine. So rugs go in feet and inches. This one is a rain sheet. So if it just got a bit rainy, um, I'd put this on. It's probably a bit hot now because it's humid and if it rained, but more in say, um, spring or autumn you would use it and it's got it hasn't got any wood lining or anything it's got like a, a mesh that you breathe um it could withstand quite a heavy downpour um but yeah it won't keep him warm in winter or anything you can put an under rug on that i've got plenty of those other rugs to show but i just won't put a winter rug on, rug on them today so all right let's go let's go and Rug leggy. So we'll start with the mesh rug. Um, both of these are combos, which means that it covers the neck area as well. So it does, it's not going to just cover his body, it's going to cover his neck. So I'll just put um, the, if I hang this over here, the pony might pull it down. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So first off, um, obviously show the rug to the horse. Now he's already tied up, so you make sure they're tied up in a safe area. I've got him on a bailing tie here. Um, what we did with the grooming. So you've groomed your horse and now you're ready to rug it. So he's all groomed, ready to go. So what I do is I hold it up, standing on his left side, and flip it over and it's got a stripe which is nice and easy to know that's the middle so I'm probably more likely bring it up more at the front first and then you can slide it down in the way the hair goes and then just sort of make sure fluff it out to make sure it's sitting correctly now his straps are already done up to his size um, so, well, I know where they go, but yeah, so the, the, the breast, oh, that's what I mean, I've done this cool thing right there with that, so pull that out of the way, that again, so bring this up the top, and the second one, some rugs just have one strap, this has got two. Put it in if it's got a keeper, just put it in the keeper for safety. Keeper. What I probably do is um, do the front, don't worry about that yet, and we'll just get the back done. So let's go down the back. So I'll go down here. Anyway. So the back has got straps and um, unhook it. I hook that up for storage, that's storage. So I do the left leg first, it's gotta come around and then hook back up there. 
that's one done. Now you don't want this too loose that when he's laying down he's going to get caught and you don't want this too tight but also when he's laying down he's going to stretch it and rip, rip the rug. So we want it pretty comfy. I might tighten that up a bit. This is an easy rug. And it's been washed. So when you wash it, it might readjust. Okay, so that's one done. I'll just go around to the other side. So what I usually do. And same on the other side. Just make sure that's sort of straight down there. And you want your buckle like that. You don't want it to buckle on the other side to scrape his leg so it's going to come through through his legs and through this the other loop on the other side so they're they're, to, they're looped around so then that's going to come up here and always do it front on with the clips I mean when I like straight on you don't want to do it back this way always on the front because it comes off easier if they're in an accident in the paddock or something tries to pull it so all right so I've got my rug part of it done I've done the front and I've done the back so now I'm going to come around and do the neck so these rugs are good for keeping insects off and um yeah, it just stops them itching. So here you don't want it too tight and then you don't want it too loose because you don't want accidents in the paddock either. So and three of these buckles. And oh, so we've got William over here eating the other rug. So that's the thing. Horses, you always watch where you put your rugs because a lot of them do pull them off the fences. That's why I've got to screw them inside. So that's all done. So, what do you think, Fledge? Looks pretty smart. And he's ready to go out in his summer. So, um, we're going to now rug him in the um, waterproof rug because that's a little different. It's got a, a belly strap, so it's worth just to show you how they're put on. So, um, Quickly take this off, which is probably a good idea that you see how that's taken off too. So I got it back the same way. So I'm going back the same way how I put it on the um, neck, and I'm coming to the back, except I'm starting on the left. Bring it through, hook it up this side. I mean, you get electric shock with these rugs. Oh. Okay, that's good. So you want to hold it up out of the dirt. Hold it up. That's good. So um, what I might do is put that over sledges. is done up a different way than the mesh it's got clips so this is the way this brand does it so they just clip he's like why have i got my hand on it's not raining 
So, um, and it's got a bit of a Velcro. There. So, and then you can adjust it there if it's... So. Do same way how we did the mesh up. rain going right between his legs and um, and the wind also so they're really good they're called tent tail flaps so just adjust that because it's just got some darks in it and you sort of can see the rain so now i'm going to do the neck i've only got two straps on this one um quite he's on the last hole we need so i'm just going to yeah, the last two holes so that's the neck done up and that's his front done up. I always like triple check rugs. You don't want a dangerous rug. So this is this is a bit different, this one. This has got a belly strap as well. So, um, so you've got to be careful, make sure that you feel safe when you're doing this. So I've got one, one strap's gonna come. Oh, I'll get it from the other side. Click it up like that through there. That. They also have to be just, you don't want them too high, um, too tight or too loose either. So I'm going to go get the other one. Set that up. Yeah, and that's sort of perfect. So it just protects her belly from the wind and the rain and everything like that and just keeps it secure, same roll. So what do you think, Fledge? That's the canvas rug done. So I'll just show you how I take it off. So same thing, back the other way, do the neck, do the belly, leg, always click it back up. Don't let them, you want to hang it like that. And then you're trying to get the rug off and then it's flipping over him on the knee strap. You want the strap slide back up. rugging uh, a horse, a mesh and a canvas rug and um, two different sorts of rugs so thank you so much for watching. Bye!